facial pain affects around 12% of world population. When we're talking about facial pain, it's important to differentiate mild cases from severe cases. During mild cases, people are not seek medical attention, while in severe cases, they seek medical attention. Underlying cause in different cases is different, of course. Let's start with mild cases. Um, in mild cases, most common cause is dental problems, um, dental cavities, gum disease, teeth grinding or abscessing. Ca abscesses can be uh, caused of facial pain. Usually, it's uh, one-sided. Another important cause of uh, facial pain is sinusitis. Sinusitis. Uh, usually caused by uh, infections such as viral infections, allergies or uh, bacterial infections. Uh, now let's talk about uh, severe cases. We can consider trigeminal neuralgia as most common cause of severe case of facial pain. Uh, it affects around, uh, it is responsible around 40% of cases facial, severe uh, facial pains. Uh, what symptoms? Symptoms is shock-like or burning sensation and it's brief attack on one side of uh, face. It's usually around eyes, um, on the cheek and upper jaw, lower jaw uh, and uh, around uh, or near air. So um, attacks are short, brief, short period of time you can uh, you can focus on the thing that patients say that it it occurs abruptly and pain uh, lasts for several seconds or f for several minutes and it can can repeat it in uh, uh, in several times in a day and risk factors and triggers it usually occurs after 40 years old but before 60 years old, diagnosis is made usually. Um, and uh, it's more common among females. Also, triggers can be usually um, daily events such as uh, yawning, eating, um, uh, breeze, fresh air. Almost anything can trigger uh, um, trigeminal neuralgia. So it's important. What is underlying cause? Uh, underlying cause is not understood well, uh, but um, potentially it can be compression of trigeminal nerve. Blood vessel can press trigeminal nerve and it can cause pain. That's a, a possible explanation. And what's the treatment? First line of treatment is anticonvulsants such as um, carb uh, carbamazepine uh, if they are not working it can be used uh, in combination of uh, alone or with combination of other types of uh, anticonvulsants such as gabapeptin, penitoin and um, oxcarbamazepine uh, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are not effective so it's important what's important here when trigeminal neuralgia, pain is shock-like. Pain occurs as an attacks. F pain is short, short-lasting, brief, and pain can uh, can occur several times per day. And non-steroidals are not effective because non-steroidals are anti-inflammatory in their nature. And here, inflammation is not is not important mechanism. Mechanism is a neural dysfunction and compression. That's why non-steroidals non are not effective. Another important cause of facial pain is migraine. Migraine usually is one-sided headache, which is pulsing in nature. It occurs around 12, uh, 20 20% of general population and also responsible around 20% of cases of facial pain. If we say, if we, if we want to differentiate migraine for trigeminal neuralgia, 
what's the com common and most important difference? Most important difference is that migraine is dominant headache and trigeminal is dominant facial ache. So that's the, that's the most, most important uh, difference. So in case of migraine, we have dominant headache. Headache is pulsating or throbbing. It lasts for several hours. It can last for several days in some cases. So pain is pulsating type. Pain can be affected by, by movement, uh, by physical exercise, for example, or physical exertion. While uh, for trigeminal neuralgia, it's not common uh, headache. We have facial ache, shock-like facial ache, but not headache. In case of migraine, we have headache dominant and sometimes facial pain also. That's the difference. In 10% of cases only in migraine, we have uh, facial pain. While trigeminal neuralgia is dominantly facial pain and it, 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 it's not common headache in case of uh, trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is not uh, uh, directly correlated with movement, for example, or physical exercise or physical uh, exertion. It has no uh, direct connection. Also, um, migraine has aura. It can be visual disturbances. Also, migraine pain uh, can be correlated with sound sensitivity, light sensitivity, nausea, vomiting. Uh, that symptoms can be accompanied. What's the treatment of migraine pain? Migraine pain is regular exercise, lifestyle changes have important role uh, and um, uh, some relief can be achieved by lifestyle changing only. For some people, of course. It's regular exercise, maintaining constant sleep schedule and healthy diet. Uh, and what about uh, medications? First line of treatment is non-steroidal. So if in case of trigeminal neuralgia, non-steroidals are not effective. In case of migraine, first line treatment is um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory anti drugs, such as ibuprofen, naproxen in mild cases, and specific anti-migraine medications like tryptan, sumatriptan, and rizatriptan can be prescribed as first line of treatment in more severe cases. So that's huge differences. What about other causes of facial pain? Now we have cluster headaches. Cluster headaches is totally severe, totally severe headaches. Um, cluster headaches occur behind eye and it's one of the severe pain person can experience ever. That's cluster headaches. Cluster headaches is not common. So it's very severe and it can uh, can be affected of tri trigeminal uh, region, of course. Another cause can be tangent type headache uh, of, uh, and other types of neuralgia and um, uh, it can be uh, can be caused by uh, different types of arteritis and such very rare cases so we don't mention such rare cases and rare causes we mention of main causes that's important and we should mention brain tumor brain tumor of course red flag that's why we should mention about it and we should focus so uh, what type of headache and facial ache can be caused by brain tumor? Brain tumor pain usually dull, dull aching and constant. It's constant and it progresses over time and it's persistent in nature. Usually it's persistent. Usually non-steroidal is less effective or they, they uh, can they can uh, reach very brief uh, relief and after this pain uh, will continue pain progresses over time pain changes and worsens during movement 
during sneezing, coughing, and pain is more severe early morning. Says brain tumor type, uh, brain tumor cold, headaches, and facial pain. But brain tumor, fortunately, is not common. It's it's less common disease and it's rare, and it's good. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.